They're moving in. I can't see a fucking thing. I fucking hate the fucking forest sometimes. From behind. The 16, the man fell silently with no movement whatsoever. None the wiser looks like to the others for now. The, the movements of those inside begin to echo out. What the hell? From behind. What the fuck is that? Food. As you watch as the man jump. Gargles. Where are they? I'm sorry. With a 14, you see it. You see someone just back a second to get the light. You're knocked over that easily. DM, she's gonna shoot at this one and she's gonna throw her knife at that one's face. Oh. Understood. Get it, girl. As you, as you shoot your crossbow out. You have managed to scratch the man just slightly on the shoulder, sending him real bad with his six, but it seems he's still fine. As you throw the knife, though, you seem to land nice purchase right into the eye as he reels back in pain, but still breathing. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, dude. Uh, you're uh, I'm just gonna instinctively pull the trigger since I had it low, but it died since people were hitting me. I'm rolling. I'm ready. I'm rolling with this advantage for that, because you're just shooting in the back. Yeah. yeah. I well, no, I, I'm being hit, so I'm just instinctively pulling. You, you see them pull the trigger, and you watch, and you sort of chuckle as he sees the point in fire, and you just step out of the way with ease. It's like you have all the time in the world, and with a natural 20, that's nothing to you. I got your back. Thanks, sweetheart. Had my back there again. <laughs> I'm in I, my element. I'm kind of. I've been waiting for so long. You see, he's got like a weird look in his face that you have not seen since like <laughs> Ledford, and then it quickly disappears. You hear the chuckle of laughter in the dark, and then the blades come from nowhere. You are afraid. The demon, that the demon's blood. Come back. Oh, it's the drow. Oh, shit. Oh, 
you cut away, there's nothing there. Tariq. Stupid bitch. You know it's You got me with the spear. You're always fucking suck. What about life? Need something? Need a potion? I might. I'm waiting for a roll. I'm here. What do you need? Took a spear to the side. Understood rolling. What's the armor? Full leather? Plus two. Plus three. Yep. Plus two. For Plus 19, three, the armor leather. does its damn job. Oh. Pause. 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 Oh, it's dark as fuck. Everyone in the area who is looking at the Capitano First will see him pull out a small pouch and throw it out in front of him. However, rolling from player's perspective, within 18, thankfully, it appears to be a dud, as it will just bounce off of the dwarf with no effect. Unpause. Lucky bastard. Unpause. Oh, that's From behind. From behind. You instinctively take a pebble and throw it down past one of the palisades towards Cerevis, giving you an opportunity to walk in. Who's that? Bad. Follow. Flash powder. DM. Dude, fuck it. Fuck you, you freak. He's being shoved behind. 
I'm gonna need a roll. They I flesh powdered them. Understood. Okay. With a seven, do with that with how you will. As the flash powder goes off. No paper is that. It catches your eye. Your right eye is blinded. It hurts. Okay. As you soak into the darkness once more. Understood. Rolling. Oh, he fucked off again. Of course. Uh, of course, into the fucking dark. With the stick, sadly, as you do so, it only dinks off their helmet. Oh, hell no. Who the fuck was that? Damn. Somewhere in the dark over there. I can't see shit, though. Yeah, go on. Swing the fucking dog, why now. don't you? That's such a, a smart move now, isn't it? Well, however, you will take the majority of the falling damage as you feel something cracking. Blowing Tyler to fight progression. With the five, this man is good with his blade, good with his axe, and the weight of it is uncomprehendable as he slowly puts you on your heels, pushing you further and further back. He is taking the advantage in this fight as one of his friends of his spears joins in. You've got a hard on for me. Taking a shot over Sharik's shoulder. Back up. With a 16 plus 3, you duck and dodge out of the way, avoiding the blow. DM. I'm gonna throw him a throwing knife. DM present. <laughs> Rolling. With an 8, the guardsman seems to see it coming, and as it spirals, he knocks it out of the way, just barely dodging under it, and charges forward with a vengeance. Blow after blow, seal against seal. The axe is strong, but you parry, repose. Rolling fight progression. With a 16, you're able to distract the guard long enough so that Cerebeth can swoop out his leg and drop him to the ground. All right. You hear a whistle once more together. Let's wrap this up. Get me to the fucking Capitano. DM. Mr. DM, I need a roll. Fuck me, I guess. Got ignored. Oh, oh, 
fuck it. Yeah. Give me a shot at him. This way. DM. I'm about to ruin your fucking day. DM. DM. DM, 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 DM. Uh, I'm throwing my caustic powder at his fucking face when he turns to look at me. Captain's auto with a 12. When you turn around, suddenly you are blinded. Your face is burning. You miss your swing. For the next several seconds, you won't be able to see shit. He's gonna a rolling opportunity attack. Yeah, he's gonna go for the arm. With an 18, you're gonna slice him deep in the arm. Deep. A major wound with an 18. <laughs> Critical. You can feel your mind starting to go. The rage building up inside of you, and with a four minus four, you will begin to lose yourself in the heat of the battle. We're all dead. <laughs> With a 17, you're able to stand between the waves of steel that are thrown at you just barely, but you need to get away. Jewels are your speciality. <laughs> From behind. Duck underneath, launching a bolt into his leg. Side. Oh fuck. Dredge. Oh fuck. He's gonna go for it. He's going for the torch. Understood. Rolling. 
Uh, does this count as a grapple? 11, you're able to grab the torch. Yeah, this uh, will be a grapple and you're able to four, then. and just rip it. Nope, I got a negative four. <laughs> negative four, yeah. understood. Then with a six, you grab it and you rip it out of it. You go to grab it and he rips it out of his hand and you are created an opening against him. And he will swing. You are bleeding and you need immediate medical attention. As the swing comes in, it comes in hard and sends you flying back, crashing against the ground. You look and feel to yourself, but luckily with a 12, the armor did its job. He's just gonna... As you see the mace swing wide. In the... Throwing knife. Now rolling. As the knife goes out, he blocks it easy with the armor, <laughs> sending it wheeling back. <laughs> More than you watch as Kyler struggles to hold. He needs help. From the side, you feel an axe press against you, soldier. <laughs> Steps of another uh -huh. one, getting close here and your comrades. Rolling. As you see him get close, Sarah, if you see it coming, you raise your crossbow up and with a 12, with every ounce of strength you have left, try to get this shot off. Right into the eye, sending him really back before you can even get close. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Feel so tired as the crossbow just slips from your hand. Take it. potion. And you will go flying back into Vesco. Much of the danger of the worst. With a two plus six. I can't see her flying. Take the one who's doomed. Take this potion. Give it to her. There you go. There you go. Shh. Advanced potion. Rolling. What? Advanced potion? Because it hit you. Oh, shit. Yes. Where's our DM? I'm calling out. Yeah, DM. Pass it by quickly. As you take the potion down, it's it's painful. You start to feel the darkness shift and move, and then the brightness of it come back. As as it goes down, it's horrid to you, Sarah. It's disgusting. But you start feeling your hands clasp around the crossbow once more into your dagger. And with a 16, the potion will do its work as the wounds begin to close, painfully but so. There's no fucking way I get out of that taking something. Very well. Yeah. You, th you look to yourself, you look to the wounds, you look to it, but you look to your armor, and with a 16, the armor holds true and holds strong this leather. Let's go find this fucker. Are you alright? Yeah. Oh. There's that fucker. Good job. Oh, what? Show me! 
out of it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm so good. I'm just. Are you tackling me? I know. I'm gonna try and sweep oh, one loudly, but it beats the man. With a 10 plus his armor bonuses, as you swing, you just can't seem to bend your arm enough to get him in the back. He's right to the stomach. I'm, I'm going for it. On the ground. Ground. I'm present. I know. How about okay. it, eh? Oh. We're both on the ground? Both going for his arm. Going for his arm. Going for his arm. Arm with a 14 plus 3. Plus, no, wait. Flat 14. Bro. You will come in. And you will as you begin to move fast, Claudia, your hands moving quickly as chaos as still erupts in, around you. You, the blood you begin to, to move and close the wound quickly with a 15. Blood begins to so taste your hand, but luckily you're able to close this one. Oh, 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 your arm goes limp. Your yeah. hands move fast as you see the master's body. You're concerned about this with how big he is. Your hands move quick and you measure out and cut the bandage to the exact amount. Honestly, you watch now with the impressive girl. Honestly, and start to cry as a dying animal. Pathetic. As you search for it, it does. It's probably progressed. It's not struggling to walk. It's over. It's tying your hands to the legs. You good? Your arm are holding you together. I'm I'm gonna need, a, gonna need another roll or two. Oh, shit. A roll? Understood. Yeah. How many? Two of them? Two, yeah. And your armor is a plus three? I believe so, yeah. Out of the two injuries, the first one, as you'll check yourself in that area with a 16 plus 3, that injury is negated. Seems like it did its job. On the other one, however, with a 7 plus 3 for a 10, you will realize that there is a small cut in your side that at first you didn't notice, but it seems to have hit a pretty big vessel. Blood is continuing to pour. Oh, fuck. Do you want to banish this or should I take a pot? I'm take it. Come here. Come here. How about you? I still have my potion. Roll in plus two. Oh, I'm all right. I'm all right. As you begin to take out the bandage, Jasper. Arn, with your plus two modifier on top of a natural 20, you'll find it quickly and will bandage him up nice and tight. Soma couldn't have done it any better. <laughs> Oh hey, shoot. You're on point tonight. You sure you're okay? You don't need a potion. Oh. I'm fine, I promise. Fuck that. As, you, as he says this, you can see the arrow sticking out of his side. <sighs> Gonna wait for Ladia for that one. Didn't puncture armor. Okay. 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 Oh, 
Which one? What do you back down? Come on, Rolling. What do you need? Still out here, everyone's down. Half rolls against me. Two and Jim. Dead cold on the ground. You know what happened. Two. You need two rolls. As he pours the potion down. So two are empty armor, two are regular sword. With him for a moment. Against the plus six. Not the first time. I'm that something like this has happened. It probably won't be the last. Because with a 12. 14. The uh, armor will do its job. With it. 16. The armor will do its job. <laughs> By the way, I gave your potion to the dollar. What armor do you have again? A uh, steel plus one. Half, it's the plus three. It's plus, uh, plus yeah. three? Yeah, say so plus six against normal plus three. Here's for the half ones. For a 19, you will be fine. You don't want to lay down. For a 12, though, you will sustain a minor injury. Wait. And then that is all. That is it. Four rolls in total. You don't have to have a I believe he's bleeding. Around, we need him treated. Oh, there we are. All right. <laughs> I feel like some <laughs> revenge. Yeah. You're gonna kill a man. It's horrid as you try to drink it like a normal. Marcus passes you a single tool hammer. You're used to as you look to it, you try to drink more of it, it's unpleasant completely. And again and again, you cough. Let me run you know, the same with it. And with a six. Just the drow showed messy. Remember this when you hang. Pluto bandaged my leg. That's not a fraction. Oh! Have your fun. You feel that one? I did. I do not. He's got him nerves. He needs treatment, though. Funny with this fiber around. Perhaps I can use it. I'm going to use it. He needs treatment. Well done. Could you use the bandage yeah. to wrap some fucking planks around, maybe? What are you looking for? Caught me five years ago, I would have broken his arm. Trace through. Oh, fucking bandages, that's it. Bandages won't hold this I need something to roll. Caught me three years ago, I would have taken his head. Look how far you've come. I follow your lead now. It's not even loaded. Here, know that, though. My, here, use mine. <laughs> Bloody. Oh, now he does. I have the one bad. What's he gonna do? Get mad at me. On him. I need him to be brutalized. A lot of good people are dead. Someone else. I can damage him if necessary. Oh my god, please. Because of him. Do it, I'm sorry. I can't. Right. Don't leave me. <coughs> god, don't leave me. It's on the arm. Sat up. Please quit squirming. He's going to see justice, right? He doesn't know how to do this, no. I'll be right there with you. He needs to be treated soon. As you feel it tighten more, Capitano, and tighten, and you feel rinse and pain, and with a 16, the wound will close with ease, begrudgingly. <sighs> scared me, though. You know what? Ooh. Yeah, he does. Sorry. It's okay. It happens. It's the people's money, isn't it? You fuck good. Oh, oh yeah, it's you did too. <laughs> you fuck good. Yeah. I'm glad she's alright. I need to get better at being close up, but I don't think I ever will. Yeah, me too. I just need to freeze up. It's different shooting someone rather than being right up in the face. So much easier. Is anyone not treated yet? Is anyone not treated? 
just the leg. Look at him right now. Or get him taken care of. We need to move. They're just trying to find a splint. Resume, resume, resume. Okay, I need to get to the make a splint. To stop the bleeding and get him on his horse. And you see, I'll turn him if I need to. It's just his leg then. He doesn't need it. Marcus is gonna try his best. Charlie Wagon Let's go scout ahead, make sure there aren't any stragglers hiding in the fucking bushes. <coughs> right. Both of you. Thank you. Of course. But don't you think your work goes unnoticed? We would have been fucked. We're fucking kicked ass. What are you talking about? I was surrounded okay, so by know. three of them, and I was I'm just ping, 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 didn't touch me. It was so good. It was so good. Yeah, it was. She shot one and threw a knife at the other one and put it right in his fucking eye, and then I was like. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. And then and then he was fighting two of them, and I threw a box into them, and then they were like, whoa! And then he was like, I'm gonna go scout ahead. Yeah, we're gonna scout ahead. I think we came from this way, right? Uh, the bridge is, yeah, but we looked around, so... Yeah, this way, come on. It's better <laughs> us figure it out rather than them one running around with torches, come on. <laughs> Don't tell them we're lost. No, there it is, there's the bridge. See? Fine. <sighs> Seriously, that was really good. It was fun. It shouldn't have been, but it was. I think this is a long time coming, you know? A lot of pressure just got released. Oh, the... Yeah. I just hope the other teams yeah, right. did what they needed to do as well. Especially you got that cunt in a raz. Nope, no one's dead, so they're moving, I think. Good, we can hold here. Hey, the longer we fight together, the better we get. Exactly. Soon we'll be unstoppable. We'll be like... Cloak and dagger. <laughs> and like, flipping over each other and stuff. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. Like that one book, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Robbins. I don't think I've seen that one. I heard that, read that one. It's good. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> it's a really good book. Yeah. I like it. It's these two lovers that aren't really lovers. They just have to pretend because they're both secret agents. Oh, right, that one. I've, both, I've, I've read that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and they way, fucking uh, hate each other, I actually. Yeah, you're fine. Wait, is he reluctant? He's too reluctant. I have a little something for him. Give me a reason. Yeah. Give me a reason. He did, he did it. Oh, God. <laughs> no. No, don't <laughs> send me into the river. It'd be a shame oh. if he fell into the river. Oh, no, he's trying to take me in there. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> Fuck, almost there. Do you want me to, like, Ooh. cut his ear off or something? <clears throat> no, please don't. Oh, oh, God. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I was right here. <laughs> With a natural one, Marcus, <laughs> he flips and flops. He is like a giant fish in your arms. <laughs> and even as you cross the bridge, he just sends out of your arms. He's just sent. And you go what? flying off he... the side. <clears throat> oh, fuck. <laughs> he goes Am I going with him? I'm like, go with it? No, Capitano, you fall down on the bridge, and you're trying to wiggle yeah, away from the two drow that are watching right now. I don't know where I am! I send the torch one Little out. lower. Down, idiot. Little lower. <laughs> go down. <laughs> Little lower. <laughs> Little lower. <laughs> Little lower. Down. Why? Because this is scary. There you go. Oh, my God, my goodness. He's going to put his foot on My fault. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he drowns. <laughs> he fucking drowns, I'm gonna die. It's worth it if I crush your fucking throat. 
Why are there so many NPCs <laughs> watching this? But I'm assuming it just went out the yeah, other Arn, Arn basically did firmly grasp it and shoved it into his head. <laughs> Someone made an oopsie poopsie in his name. <laughs> Capitano. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Get away from fucked me. Fucked up. Bitch. <laughs> I'll dangle a fucking This is like the first time I've seen face. you this season. <laughs> they don't- ah! What's going on? Kyle's got his foot in his throat, <laughs> and I think Sarah's spitting in his face. He started struggling, he started struggling, and Marcus fell in the river. We have to watch him, so we can't help Marcus. What's up, Drasker? What do you- Mother sucks Hello? Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? I, I can hear you. Hello, God, can you hear me? Okay, you hear me. I don't... Turn off the light! Drasker, can you hear me? He's what are you saying? He's down there on the bank Drasker of the river. Left. Yeah. yeah, he's helping Marcus, who's drowning. Why did you do this, Capitano? Hello, Margaret. You little bitch. Mm. Why must you turn <laughs> this simple escort mission? I'm a snake. A slivery snake. I'm in full steel, so I, I can't really... It's like fucking a foot <laughs> deep, dude. Just stand up. <laughs> Hold, please. It's like a fucking foot deep. Come on. Hold, please. Kimchi. Yeah. Okay, we're in between two DMs. One's telling us one thing, one's telling us another. Yeah, what the fuck I'm are we doing? Just sitting here until I'm Run <laughs> We're holding. Interesting. Are we still holding, or...? Uh, there was a pause here. I have two boxes to go in the oh. back of this cart, so if we've got oh. the other ones... I think there's a pause, oh. but it's dark, can so you no one can tell. Can you help? Okay, we'll back up. We'll back up. <laughs> oh yeah, he said hold. Sorry. Oh, okay. This is so uncomfortable. Oh. What? <laughs> you can't see what's happening to me. Shut the fuck up, I can see what's happening. You fucking asshole. Stop! Help! <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> being taken back by Drowth right now? <laughs> Getting Halo 4 so bad. Yeah, I know, right? Well, I mean... Got a shishi. Shishi on hee hee. Got a... True! I'm gonna shishi on you, you! Who took a photo? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. It won't go up all the way. Alright, focus, <laughs> focus on it. <laughs> now he feels dominated. <laughs> I'm not normally in this position, you know? I'm normally like... I think he just died. Let me drown. Let me drown. Let me drown. Cards up. Cards up. <laughs> just drown me. You can hear splashing and bubbles coming from the river. You got him? Where Marcus is. <laughs> Marcus! He is not above water. Fuck's sake. Have you got him? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Can I find purchase on anything meaningful? Pause, You're Lucas. slowly carried along the bottom. Pause. And you know... That in very short order, you're going to start drowning. Rolling. With a 17, as you splash and make noise, continuously carried, you will find a rock on the bottom. You will slowly start carrying yourself up the river's edge. As you choke back water, and the air in your lungs begins to burn. You will find your way back onto the shoreline. Am I not needed then? I guess. Okay. You'll see Marcus is slowly clawing his way up. You can help him. He's helping him. Mm. Rolling. With a 19, 
you're able to push off of the ground with your light boots. You can see you're able to slowly carry him back up. By the time that he reaches the air, he is able to breathe. He is coughing up water. And he is shaking. Come on. sake, we thought you were fine. You're drowning. What the hell happened? We turned around, we turned back, you're in the fucking water. What did you do? You're right. Spun around and did a fucking kick. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he kicked me into the water. Come on. Oh, your, your torch is fucked. Can you grab his other arm? <clears throat> Come on. Ah, oh, thank you. Mm. We still have him, right? Yes. Have who? Okay. We did not no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, we did. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it was like, he's falling in the water and he's drowning. He's drowning and he's back up. And I'm like, uh, what? What am I doing? Fucking hell. Imagine. Ugh. Yeah, I get he got bad rolls, but it's supposed to be action, reaction. I didn't get a reaction. He just kind of went. And then drowned, and then got back up before I was allowed to unpause. It's okay. <clears throat> I think they're... I think they're learning. They're, they're TDMs. It's a learning experience. Potions and Lordia here. I'm glad you came, Lordia. One, two, three, four, okay. We would have been... Dive straight, so will you. Thank you. Thank God you're here. This needs to go in the back of the wagon. <laughs> the fuck is this? The fuck is that? You'll see it is a box full of weapons and armor. Ooh. Okay. And it's heavy. It's for none of you. Mm. Mm. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... <laughs> You've got this, Sharik. Here you go. It's extremely heavy, Sharik. You're puffing and roughing, it, and it's like your arms are pulsating. <sighs> and he's gonna drop him the know, cup of time. Know, foot. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Oh. What's happening? What Leave me alone, pussy. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <ten. laughs> a heavy box Weird lands enough. on your foot. <laughs> He's he's in the cage. Oh. Oh. His foot was sticking out slightly. Um, Where's Maelstrom? Yeah. Wait, is that Maelstrom? Where the fuck is my horse? We'll celebrate when we get back. Fuck. Everyone, move up. Last push in the cage. Better be. I don't fucking know. They move sometimes. It's... <laughs> Well, God damn it. Uh, if someone's no. still <laughs> right <laughs> away. Oh, shit. Yeah. There's a horse here. Huh? Hold on, let me move this into the light for That's them. Not fucking yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Whose fucking horse is this? <laughs> it's Whose goddamn brown horse? Oh, is this? Nope. <laughs> Hold on, I'll help you. Where's yours? <laughs> they moved. Unless. <laughs> Unless it respawned, in which case, if someone fucking moved my fucking horse again, <laughs> the fuck? Wait, I hear him, Maelstrom. Oh, there you are, buddy. What are you doing over here? Thanks. He's in the ground. Help I know, him. right? You fell in the quicksand. Did you fall in the quicksand? Mm. Yeah, it was okay. Oh no. There you go, buddy. No. Okay, I'm on. Fucking hell. I'm sweating. Now I need you to help me convince a man of my favor. We're moving. 
Stop mocking him. But he sounds funny. <laughs> this is the weirdest retelling of Hansel and Gretel ever. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh, wait, well, you're not horse isn't named Curly. What was it? I forgot. It's Eriador. <laughs> Eriador. You know, I, he still looks like a Charlie to me. This is a stupid name for a horse. Mm. It's not. It's okay. What does it mean? Charlie. Maybe I should have named it something stupid it like Nightblade or Shadowstalker. That'd be a much cooler name. What does it mean, <laughs> Vesrin? Eriador? Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Do you even know what it means? As long as I get <laughs> the fucking no. decide what it means beforehand, then yes, I do know what it means. What does it mean? It means deep sea. What? <laughs> oh, it's a seahorse. I get that now. Time to go down. Do you know male seahorses are the ones that carry the babies? Let's go! This one's pregnant. <clears throat> I mean, that's pretty obvious. I mean, true. Did Vezrin really call this horse Ariel? Look how pretty. It is very pretty. Ariel. <laughs> Yeah, I kind Come on, of... Ariola. I kind nah. of, uh... It's kind of sad that they don't get to see this stuff, you know? Yeah. Imagine living in blissful ignorance to everything around you at night. You know... When horses have to ride through a town or a large city or somewhere they're not used to, they put these uh, things on their face called blinders and they stop them from looking around and being overwhelmed too much. Maybe them not having night vision or drow vision is nature's blinders so they don't get overwhelmed. Would make sense, everything dangerous looks in the dark. Yes, we do. <laughs> Wonder how the other groups did it. Worried about Sif? Yeah. She didn't look good. I didn't see her. Is it worse than She was than in the back of the still? wagon. She looked... She looked really pale. Sure, pale and bloody and injured. Oh, we can only assume here. the best. Stop flirting. Uh, we're, we're a thing, though. We're a thing. We're mm -hmm. supposed to flirt at each other. Ro? <laughs> the way he turned around. <laughs> That's right. We need to stop for our hourly uh, make-out session. On top of the I can't hear you. God, those two. 
It's kind of nice to see him happy, though. I guess. I remember the third day I got here, I told him he doesn't deserve it. Mm. Who knows? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe. Wow. You feeling okay? Yeah, I know. You get hit, Shut hit up. by a mace? No, actually. Sure did. <laughs> I don't know. Whether they deserve it or not. Blame it on the brain damage. Who deserves anything anymore? Mm. The universe is just going to fuck us anyway. Right. You know, um... <clears throat> the reason the guards are in the bathhouse that day and the reason that she died is because of the murder of one of the gladiators in their top room. They never found out who did it, so they blame the bathhouse girls. So that's why you blame yourself then? Yes. Not because you weren't there? Hmm. Because I started the chain events. These people. Nerez swung the sword, but I put them on the chopping block. It doesn't make it easier. Then we pray to Palanva and hope she graces us with her. Hmm. What's the word? Glory. Palanva. 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 Yes, she is the priestess or the goddess deity of vengeance. Revenge. Now there's a religion I can get behind. I think you would learn a lot from the drow deities. Maybe one day we'll go over them. If you don't mind. Mm. Hey, you. You alright? Kept him alive, kind of. I'll be right back and I'll tell you about it, okay? You look tired, Wolf. Rude. Oh, she does. She never looks tired. I mean, I'd be tired too if I saw what she saw. Capitano, unfortunately, seems you just missed me. I'm being a cunt. Yeah, you're being a cunt. He deserves it. I mean, yeah. What? The fucking bitch cut me off. I go now. Fuck everybody else. Dredge, please. That is a shitty <laughs> grin if I've ever <laughs> seen one. It's great. No. It's great. Every Again. time he makes a noise, I get to dig his wound a little deeper. Oh, it's a face of nightmares. Delightful. <laughs> what are you talking about? I just like to see him smile. Told you what nice. in the fuck? No, I'd rather he never smile again. <laughs> oh, I've never been in here. I yeah, hate yeah, it me already. neither. Wish. We're not staying in here. We're not staying in here. Don't need me to move the cage. All right. Mr. Drudge, need you to do me a favor. We want to keep that cage. Take him out of that one. And won't you put him in that small one? Custodian. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, who's got the key? Yeah, I do. Oh, Just pull him through the bars. The one that the custodian oh. gave. There you go. <clears throat> All right. 
<laughs> Look at him like a baby. Hi. Bye, asshole. Welcome, asshole. Look how he's sitting. Any need for me? <laughs> See you there. You know, I want sleep. That sleep is, the is gonna be so good. Third time I've been up in those walls. The first time I've done it legally. Huh. Come on, you. You are bad. I'm a naughty drow. You're naughty, naughty. Breaking into keeps. That's my thing. Dad told me. <laughs> so because he says it, it's okay. Yes. Right. Yes. Father knows best. Father knows best. Listen to your father. Oh my God. There's a party. This is. This is grim. Okay. What? Grim. One of them did not make it back. Who? See for yourself. Fuck. I've had enough curiosity for today. Speak your mind. Perhaps later. Walk towards the forge, you see a body half draped, and you'll see Seth, pale and cold. Let's go inside. Should I bother asking why you're fully armored? From the side, you'll find. I'll get the door. I've carried her before. I can carry her again. And his son is I didn't want to be right. Now I'll get the door for you. It fucking happened again! <laughs> it does seem like a full house, just on this phase wall being back at the bathhouse. Well, there. What there doesn't need to be is light sources in the house, I don't think, because of the wall lights. Yes. Yes, thank you. Seen that we have lost one of our number. Is this true? Yes, it is true. Yes. Hmm. Know this. Every single last one of you. Blood for this. Some of you I know well, some of you I've only recently met. 
some of you I have known for what feels like a lifetime. The man that we had to capture and the men that worked with him were evil. Men who preyed upon the weak. And men who went out of their way to scrape whatever they wanted from those who could not protect themselves. <clears throat> I don't care what your reasoning is for finding yourself in this room. The difference is you're in here and the rest of the world is out there. You made your choice. I don't know what's going to happen in the next few days, but I will promise you this. Thanks to this man. Most of you know is a tavern keep. It is going to get out anyway, so you might as well know. Gabam is the eyes and ears of the Baron of Mem. He is the only reason why the Baron knew what was happening in town and why he tried to fix things in a clandestine manner as to not get himself killed. It is only because this man has vouched for us and risked his life to come on missions like these that we are all going to be fully exonerated for what we did today. And the Capitano is to be held accountable tomorrow morning. A lot of good people did not get to live to see this moment. Whether they were caught in the crossfire or they were fighting for what was right. But you already know that. I can only speak for myself. In the days to come, things will get better. The guards are under control by the Custode until a new captain is elected. And those soldiers that remained fought with all of you. And started not knowing that they would have help. We have a chance to rebuild what was destroyed here. Many of you have been running a long time. No more. We help rebuild this place. We help make it ours, our home. And then whatever comes next, we will be better prepared. The most pressing issues can be talked about tomorrow. There is no use worrying tonight when we are all tired, bloody, and in mourning. We also would not have been able to evade the guards if it wasn't from the interference that the Lady knows us put up for us. She ensured the guards did not hunt us down in the night and disrupted them as best she could. She has been a voice in the Baron's counsel in our favor. Do not forget that. I have nothing really else to say to replace the ache. I know I will be hit by a ton of bricks shortly. And I know you will all too. <clears throat> but I thank you all for having the courage to do what so many did not as they fell under the Capitano shadow. To our brothers and sisters, no matter where they come from, and to no more running. To all of you. Get some food and drink. Say your goodbyes. Mourn tonight. Fight tomorrow. Here, here. If anyone wishes for ale or a new blanche of fresh tea, it is in the kitchen. Please help yourself. Didn't mind I say, while I saw that man has been a plague on this I town this for a while. You breathe slowly to the torch burning around. Yes. Days have passed in this torment. All of you have done something so many. I thought impossible. So many voices but echoed into the street. Lives of people crazy few dare to defy long time. 
the Capitano. On behalf of the town, so I'd like to much thank all of you. Get here. God damn it. Believe me for this time. Mrs. Sagiana, are you okay? Did you... Okay, thank you. But... So much. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Right. What shut up on just the start. Make sure he is. A very long starting. Not just hiding the cops. You're a familiar face. The road. Good to see you. Now it's deep. We have tea for you. I think yeah. I you. Second. <clears throat> the fuck is it called? Lamp. Lantern? No. Gas burner. Lampert. <sighs> You're doing all right, aside from the obvious. You saw her again today, didn't you? Morden? 
Hold in. Rolling. It's not that bad, buddy. You could talk to me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I went to blow my nose. I watched you moment. step up and then just drop off the edge. <laughs> oh my god, Morden. I, did, I had no idea. <laughs> this, um... Might be a bit of a long shot, but either of you have any pipe weed? Mm, I have spice. No. <clears throat> pipe weed, sorry. Do you secretly smoke pipe weed? Oh, go. Feels like that kind of night. We've got wine. <sighs> Morden, you have pipe weed, don't you? I care to share. I actually need to head to bed soon. My body is <clears> dying, <throat> and yeah. It's fine. I'll stay up here. So I'm just probably... doze off whenever you feel tired. Right. I will stay up here and doze off whenever I feel tired. Yeah. I will be participating <clears throat> in this conversation. Good night, guys. Heal. Good night. I feel like everything up until this point has been a precursor, you know. Now we can finally work on our shit. Make this place home. At least for now. Do you believe it? Believe what? Do you believe that we can stop running? <sighs> I want to. But, I mean, fuck, we've been running our whole lives. Isn't that just kind of what we're used to at this point? Maybe not us, but... We can make it a place for other people, right? I don't think I'm going to be able to stop running until I get to Gwen, if I'm honest. Until we've got Gwen, but if we make things better along the way for other people, I suppose that's not bad, you know. This isn't my home. It never will be. I agree. One day. I wish to know what that feeling's like. Best I can hope is once I get to Gwen, I feel like I'll belong somewhere. <sighs> but until then, I'm not really getting settled, I guess. happened, like, again, today. Again. Just started feeling close to Sif, and... A 
Am I cursed? Like I said, the world is unfair to people like us. Ain't that the fucking truth? say they're going to do a saw Derek again today. In his dreams or precursor <sighs> I guess no one else saw it. Precursor or whatever word you used. <laughs> He was like, we finally got rid of one problem. No. The problems we already know are coming back. That's all we do. Easy, sister. Soma did something <clears throat> crazy. Somehow he... He talked to it. To the one controlling Risa. Body. He... He's getting it to kill the Lecter. In exchange for... dreams or the one he woke up near <laughs> it wants him to go there fuck's sake you're right we just fucking dealt with one thing and now Cure for what? Shroom Did it specifically say that, or did it say 
cure because what it thinks is a disease might not line up with what we think is a disease. Soma said cure. I don't believe it either. Yeah, I'm hesitant. Fenora will do tests. One thing at a time, I guess, right? I mean, they bring a torch out, but I can read you. So, one thing, three more things take its place. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what else to do, though. Feel good. Beating the Capitano. Didn't have any disease. <clears throat> Body went leather work. Yeah, a bit. Uh, no. I snuck right up behind him and threw caustic powder right in his fucking face. Came back a couple minutes ago and dozed off. It was pretty nice actually. I had a hammer and I was going to bust his arm like he did me and he did to Zim, but I don't know. A couple years ago and I might have done it now. Feels weird. Getting soft. <laughs> Showing mercy is harder than killing, I find. If I wanted someone to die, I'd snuff them out like a light, like a candle. <sighs> Dead. To let them live, to let them carry on is an act of choice. Making that choice is hard. It's easy to be cruel. I would know. I am cruel. 
world made me this way. And I'm not sorry for it. Does he make the right choice not letting me go? I would have killed him. I fought so well. You should have seen me. <clears throat> like a blade of spinningness. I got surrounded by like three of them at one point and I just was... Not one of them touched me. It's crazy. Sarah shot one and then threw her knife at another one, like at the same time. It was <sighs> cathartic, I guess, is a word. wasn't found. At least not in my group. I don't know about the others. He might still be out there. And that's why he's sick. That I choose not to spare. For his sake. Let's hope that he's dead. Because if not. I'll do it myself. I'll make him suffer. If there's one person that deserves it, it is him. You won't see me stopping you. Gonna have a nice scar, but my hair's gonna hide it. I need to get Lottie to take these stitches out too, maybe tomorrow. <clears throat> I think one or two of them popped today when I was fighting. Such is life. If you're healed, 
<clears throat> the Capitano dealt with. I'll go back to guarding Venora. If that's what you want to do, sure. I want to protect both of you. But I'm one person. And I know you can take care of yourself. Where she can't. That's fair. I still need to tell her, talk with her about me going with you all to Kiwan. She doesn't know yet. No time to say. No more talking, you. <clears throat> it's time for rest. And we can wake up to a better notice tomorrow. Okay. if I think and then I'll be crashing up here so <sighs> whatever foe comes our way little wolf we'll take him down it is. Get some rest. I'll be right back up. Beaver using that to have the emissary murdered. Making it clear it was the drow. Maybe they can use their malice. She has beautifully fine red hair. Next question. I think I can come up with something. Pray for me, okay? Uh, I mean, oh, oh Sharik. Um, is there some, like, uh, journal that I gave you, and we w weren't able to open it up. I left it here. Do you know where that is? Um, do you need it now, or can I grab it tomorrow? I, do not I would know, like it. I know there are plants in the north that. Can't remember if I managed to open it for you or not. Down here. Look, uh, no, I think I found the key for it. So. Oh, well, Thanks. congratulations. Perhaps there's something. I'll uh, let you know what's inside it. Yeah. Sure. That could be acquired. Thank you. Again, don't know what to do. Don't know the solutions. Or I let one of them borrow the stone? Why? The minister wouldn't be expecting that. True, but... I'm just worried what happens if it gets found out, or traced back. I don't understand this aspect of things. I could never understand Folger. None of it is normal. It's beyond my grasp. Hmm. I still cannot travel when... Hmm? 
vegel thing is back to having one of the tunes. Energy from his hands, fire from his hands. And then burned people to nothing. Stories. And I'm meant to believe it. If that's the case, what if he's like that? What the fuck do we do? Wait. Today, or I don't know if we should get it. Is Sarah still here? Not at the right moment. Awkward. Ready? You just went to bed. Later on, I'll tell you. I'm not interrupting you. She mentioned mind. something to me. Not at all. Sarah mentioned that. They tried to look into her and saw a void. Look like into there was... her. What, is, what does that mean? I don't fully know, but it strikes me as um, odd. There was a passage yeah. I read. <sighs> mm, no, probably it strikes me as odd. odder than it should, or how odd it is. There it is. Well, what about it strikes you as odd? There was a passage, I can't remember if it's the writing on my arm, or if it was something else. In a vision I heard. But... Can really make sense. No, it was Goldrick's writing, that's right. Apparently there are bloodlines of people not only who are gifted in magic, but... People who are gifted in... I don't know, the opposite. Guess it just means odd. Opposite, they what, are being normal? No, they are unaffected by magic. Like Tang or Forged? No, like they're a void for magic. I'm gonna go see. Sabbath always says that strange well, things happen around her. Yeah. Okay. Things she can't okay. explain. Good night. She doesn't seem to have the same. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Aptitude for it is fair, or maybe myself. But. Safe journeys. Something certainly is different about her. And that. Burbage. I wonder if. She's of those bloodlines. You know what that makes me think of? <laughs> Probably not connected in any way, shape, or form, but. Hmm? Do you remember what Faye told us all the way back in Mudford? Mm, yes. And then it was <laughs> said again by night. the commander, Madwick. <coughs> that King Ailis' son mm. is not his son. And Faye had made a point to something about us being sent all over Mithrax in creation. It was because he could not leave Gavis society and to hide him. I'm gonna be going I'm be going to Apothecary. I never really understood what that meant. How do you hide a king? Can't hide a king. So it had to be something else. Her head on yours. They wanted us to get that amulet and talked about it yours. being proof of his succession. <laughs> well, we all know it was a lie from the beginning. It just didn't matter to us. Or when we were in the hidden rooms back in Ledford, we read those notes that we assumed Fulgrith made. He mentioned the significance of the air. I don't remember the, what ex it was exactly. Nor do I. Mm, just saying this bit in my mind somewhere. a bit. We can look at it later, but just. I don't. Been bugging me. If you're turning back. Hang on, this The reason I'm bringing this up yeah, is if it's true that Sarah is of. 
Whatever this bloodline is, maybe she's the one who can kill this diplomat. Or what if it's like your arm? What if it's similar to that if she tries to being killed? You would see her face down the bag. What if did she wasn't born like that? Mm-hmm. If it was something that happened to her, that you said void. Well, for there to be a void in anything, something must be removed. A hole doesn't just you fucking appear. Something must be taken. Apparently, from her earliest memories, weird shit's been happening to her ever since she was incredibly young. Her first memories. So. Yeah. I feel like Olgurth said that she was a key to something a long time ago. A key to our insanity. Perhaps. Right. <laughs> Look. I just don't understand this shit. I tried to recall the craziness that we have stumbled upon in places that we never should have fucking been in the first place but it's all pocus pocus to me yeah. i can't make one end of it from the other magic circles magic rocks ancient cities gods that no one knows of goldrick always fucking goldrick fulgrif warforged now you walking around like you have a private fucking tattoo artist. Speaking of, I mentioned this to Sarik earlier, but I'm tired of our friends dying too. To that effect, I started trying to learn again. And I've been resentingly successful. What you call success and what I call success might be very different. You are up the stairs. I was able to heal a fatal wound on a living creature. On, we're heading back to the apothecary. You have a good night. Good night, babe. Good night. Oh. I don't have a door oh. at my place, so. Who's. Who's Arn? Oh, shit. Don't worry it's about fine. it. It's fine. It's hmm? fine. It's gonna be out soon anyway. I know, but you know how you give me that wrinkle on your head? Those are the ones. Don't worry about it. Basically. Don't worry about it. It'll come out soon enough. Like you put it there. Some sort of special name that he has. I'll spare you the nitty gritty details. Yeah, I like it too. It's a rather crude art that I'm still trying to perfect. I don't know how the. If anything, I might stay by Marcus. Oh, those jewels for starters. All right. Well, I'll be at the there are any among them that are pure and I have that last sapphire oh, that Raylan left. Substance enough. There is that. I'm a little loath to let go of it, but if you need it. I'd rather not take anything sentimental if it's not necessary. I'll rummage through those um those gems you mentioned and see if there's anything there that works. I just don't know if those things will be big enough. Quite small. That's my worry. See, I just hesitate because the last thing I gave him that he wanted to do experiments on it turned into that thing. I've learned how to separate myself from the ritual. The problem was that whatever this thing is, is leached onto me. If I try to insert myself into the ritual, it goes along with it. But there's a way that I can remain on the sidelines and not interact with it. I 
I will pretend I understood any of Again, that. in case in the info. I just come to the point where I nod my head and say, yep. That scene happens. <laughs> and even if I made We're a long way from the town hall. <laughs> I'll find many ways to stay. As much as possible. Remember when you were Yao Man? Just don't... Just don't do anything stupid. Who ran against him? Uh, Jack did. Clifford. Yeah. yeah. And, uh... Ro. Someone else. As you wish. Was it Cade? Ro. You know it might have been, yeah. Maybe Cade. <laughs> do you... Could you imagine Yao Man Cade? <laughs> We'd be fucking dead. <laughs> Time had left us. <laughs> yes, no, Roe was the other one who ran against you, I believe. Moment. Yeah, Clifford. My charge is to be blood. Jack. I see, I never knew his name was really Roe. Is. Oh, fuck, does he never. All this time. Miss Jack, no Miss Clifford. Oh, I'm about to kick you in the balls. His name is Lord Rojaheen. He's from Gradia. His family was wiped out by opposing merchant lords. Destroyed his whole family's enterprise. Murdered them in their beds. He fled <sighs> to Aralan soon after. See. So how does he know thieves can? <laughs> but once we get further here, we'll be able to push out and reclaim what we've lost. Most of us. Hmm. I think there's a plan. Well, the beginnings of one. I agree. If Sarah can use those men to fight her way into the keep, wherever they, I know where the elves stay, and if she's the one who's able to finish him off. I don't know how we test yes. this, if she's really immune or resistant or what. Is the other concern, though. <laughs> we take over. We now are closer to the barons than we've ever been, and then an attack like that happens on the emissary. The draw took advantage of a weak point. The draw would have to be. The emissary would have to be outside the I'm keep. Pretty certain the draw already want to kill him. The last I heard, last report, they already want this guy dead. So they, they think they have a way of doing it. Then obviously. Wait, why? Why do they want him dead? Then maybe we don't want him dead. Why do they want him dead? I don't know. <clears throat> the draw are looking into. Um, an underground magic city that used to be elvish or something. Fuck yeah. Me. Um, it's supposed to be, according to the robber baron, really close to the border, but on Nortis land. It's supposed to be close to the close to the border. The Ej Ej border, border underground. There's Wait. only one road. No, there's there was a second. <clears throat> A long time ago. There's one road. I mean, a long time ago. Yeah, and you were here? Did you pave it yourself? No, I saw it. Not in person, but... Don't say in a vision. I Fuck him. me! <laughs> Vezrin is a paver. A right, road, understand. right off the border. The it it goes north. Nice. Um... Either. And then it, it, it leads to a castle or a manor or something. Something that probably is a ruin by now. The road's since been overgrown. I've the been trying to find a way over there, but with the orcs and everything. Is I believe that's what the drow are here to do. That's why these unmarked rangers were out and about. Well, sorry, unmarked elves were out and about. And that's why the robber baron thinks these rangers are as far into Nortis as they are. 
I mean, they shouldn't be. Because <laughs> they're supposed to patrol and the protect rangers. the border. If it's close to the border, why? The rangers have been operating uh, with Kovaz's blessing. Yeah. Last I was told. Yeah. Makes you think, doesn't it? So if Kovaz likes the elves, maybe we do want the emissary dead. I, I don't know. This is one of those things that's... Time if to figure this all out. We destroy one thing, we strengthen another problem. You know? So we There's keep... There's no good yeah. end to this. We have to find which has the best outcome. No matter what happens, we're going to be sacrificing something. I just don't fucking know what it is yet. I feel blind. I sure wish we could sit down and talk to Marcelo. Perhaps get something out of him. Maybe if you have a better working relationship. Yeah, um... He might feel a little... Gil Gilleo has implored me to work closer with the <laughs> Elven Rangers, and I intend to do so. Try and get in their good books. If not, um, Marcelo, then... Someone. Apparently he's been critically wounded and is recovering right now, but... I don't know, the next in line or whatever the fuck. Well, I have to ask you then, Mirindel. What the fuck do we do about the robber baron? Because of this idiot boy. <sighs> he took the only way in and out. We have no trade, nothing. The majority of our food came from the Trident farmlands. If it were possible, if we could broker a peace between the two of them and reinstate the Baron as his old position and do it under a way of teaching the boys how to actually rule. <laughs> I'm going to be honest and selfish. I cannot let that happen. Mm. I need Gerbrum to be Castilian. Mm. He has promised me that if this place is prosperous, <clears throat> and he can get it back to the days of Jul'dar, that they will send help. They will send materials, mercenaries. Sorry, who will? I need that. If I can solidify Gerbum as Castilian. Mm. Ah, I see, right. I was just re remembering the original plan with the drow. He used them to capture the mm. robber baron. Perhaps. <sighs> Perhaps it will be what one we one have to do. Hey, talking about hey, just going for a while, figured. Should I go back down? I can, or outside? You can sit up here, I'm sure. You'll find a stay. Welcome to the big kid table. Yay. Do I still get chicken nuggies? Fucking tin soldiers off my desk. <laughs> you don't like them? The collectibles. They're in the way. The collectibles, they'll be worth uh. something later. I came back to my maps and whatnot. To a half written missive I was almost done with, and I found a bunch of tin soldiers all over my desk. Care to explain? It's only 15. <laughs> I'm afraid I have no idea what goes on with that head. I have, uh, I have no 35 more of them and two horses. Interesting. And a tiny boat. Does it float? Uh, it's well, rattle wood, so I sure hope so. The wall for those reading lessons. <laughs> they are something else. <laughs> yes, well. Hmm. You taught one already. I'm sure you can teach the other. Yeah, and Olena's been reteaching me. I read a whole book me. by myself. Maybe I'll start a school for a literate drow. So 
of charity. Quick way to broke it, please. <laughs> Peace, I guess. Right. Mm. But um even so. Thinking about it, it seems like the only real option is to bait out the robber baron, capture him, and go with that plan of trying to grant the amnesty to the soldiers. You said, but you don't feel convinced of it. At this point, I don't see a way that the robber baron takes over and he's able to... I, I don't want to understand your investment in this man. I'm trying to, but I don't. I can't. Did you meet him? I did, yeah. What were your thoughts? I mean, in a perfect world, he'd be a great choice, but... It's just not a perfect world. Even if he was trying to do the right thing by Nortis, uh, other nobles, uh, the the council themselves, it just opens up a lot of conflict that we're not ready for. It's not the easy way to do it either. We certainly wouldn't have power over him. We certainly wouldn't be as strong as we would be with a mem. As charismatic as he is, I... It would be a hell of a lot of ducks to line up to get him in power and use him how we need to use him. Thank you, Shurink, for that. In that case, I'm convinced. choice do I have? If he's going to expel all foreigners, that would include your uncle. There'd be no way to get him in. The drow don't have an official presence. They'll be able to keep operating. We'd have no support. Doesn't want anyone who is taking goods and coin out of this country. Well, that's exactly what I need to do. And how would we even get him there? We'd have to help him win a siege, essentially. Hmm. It wouldn't be a siege. No. The choice is made. The die is cast. The man should have stayed at his post and guided the sons of his lord. I'm sure he did what he thought was right, but he... In that case... We capture the robber baron. He's got one... I don't know if he's a lieutenant or colonel or what. He's got one man that's really close to him. I fear that if we capture one and not the other, we might not completely destabilize the resistance. We might need both. We'll figure out how to do that then. It must be done. This may sound suicidal, but I'm going to ask you anyway, as you have a better read of the men. But a bear fruit for you to go there and to request his surrender. <clears throat> it's hard to if say. You think it's, if you think it'll get you killed, then absolutely not. But if you think in the slightest, he might even listen to you. We'll have to try. He keeps saying that he if wants... If he attacks us full force, we will not win. Yeah, even as siege engines. If he really wants what's best for Nortis, if we can assure him that his surrender would definitely get that, if what he's saying is true, then he would. 
You have to talk to him and press home the th threats in this province. We have to make it clear that if he follows through with this, he's going to be resisted and more people will die than people that will be saved. And if a pex undoubtedly will move in to perform cleanup. If he cares about this province, then he must die. Oh my dear, are you okay? All right. Mm -hmm. I am just thinking at the current moment. I'll see what I can do. Like the man. <sighs> he trusts me. No, I don't. Then don't. You'll find another one. But I do think you should deliver our request. All right. Feeling that if he is as honorable as you say, perhaps we can appeal to him. Maybe be willing to fight someone. Perhaps if he knows that... kind of man. Huh. I suppose we'll see. But now I think I need to rest my eyes. I'm not going to put you in a position where you hate yourself for what you do. If there's another way, we'll find it. If it means everyone's lives, I'll do what I have to. At this point in time, I don't know what exactly is more right. Both sides have faulted quite a bit. One more than the other, but... I tell myself that if we have control, it'll be far better off than if we were answering to someone who may not keep their word. I realize that my request is wholeheartedly self-driven. This is what we'll do then. Shariq and Sarah will follow behind me. After I've scheduled a meeting with the Rubber Baron, I'll meet with him in some location. Offer the terms, and if he declines, then we have the drought take care of it. We'll think on it. We're all tired. We'll think on it tomorrow. Not tonight. Go. Cool. Have a good night, all of you. Well. See you too. I'll join you in just a bit, okay? Uh, I uh, meant to give this back earlier, but uh, you seemed like you needed some time, so maybe tomorrow. Ching! Uh, Devi up our taxes. To everyone that still here. Good night, you too. Good night. Well, Are you going to yourself. 
Wait for Miss Tarty. She uh, wanted me to make sure you didn't go didn't on the road. Uh, but we just take the fucking car. <laughs> Just as you. Oh, but to, it's uh, not how right it's supposed to go. Yesterday. Captain's supposed to divvy up the spoils. This isn't a pirate ship. Did you know they've been trapping the back of the wall in all the you gaps understand? with punji pits? Um, really? Yeah. yeah you uh, found it, and it was on a bad man that didn't my deserve leg it. Taken off by one of those things. I had so to take it and use it for things that would be far better than if he still had it. Just to keep the fucking pain away. There was plenty more silver found. You keep that pouch, and I will give your silver to someone else, now because I, there's obviously more in that pouch. Yes, now I know that we have trapped oh, the okay. walls with punji pits. Is there a problem with that? <laughs> so you're going to still leave without uh, No, Captain. Understood, Captain. Then don't, then don't worry about it. Oh, well, okay. She's... We're all here for more than just too long, I'm sure. As I'm yeah. sure you are. <gasps> I think you two I should have some time nice together. Snack. I am going to do this, yes. Because maybe you need more romance. <laughs> Thank you, Grinch. I do fix him. No problem, my lord. Oh, I see. Especially on a day like today. Uh, other matter, I guess. Um, um, <laughs> Not important tonight, obviously, but I, uh, the journal that we found on all the people that I was in the cage and all that sort of thing, um, I think I found the key for it, in case you wanted to, uh, open it and see, maybe it has, a. Uh... You can look at it all you want. I can't read all that well. I read a book, but that was of the ravenous caterpillar. To speak to Galil. Five okay. What can I do Should I step for? outside? Just I down. won't be here long. <laughs> Politics are getting messy. You know this. Because she might be very wanting to happened? talk to people. Not much. Mm. A lot of the nobles nowadays don't tell me anything. Three minutes. I'm going through every bit of the library as I can. And, like I said, some things are adding up, other things are not. Maps that should be there are conveniently misplaced sometimes. You have to go digging even further. And some of them I just can't find in general. What this is, I don't know. I'll tell you what I do know, we received your values. Yeah. 